Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast where we talk about movies, music, television, video games, and more. Let's dive on in. That's a long list. It's too many things. That is a, we talk about a lot of Ooh, things. Oh boy. Um. Anyway, I'm Oliver. I am Adam. And what do we have on the docket today? Uh, today we are talking about the Ant Man three trailer. So Quantum Mania, Ant Man and the Wasp. What do you think about that trailer? So. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. Mm-hmm. I wasn't excited about the previous Ant Man. I thought it was kind of okay. The Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, was didn't like it. Yeah, with Lawrence Fishburne and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot he was in that. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was okay. I'm more excited for this one than even like the first one. Um, I'm shocked that Michael Douglas is still doing this thing. He's like a million years old. He has been doing this for a while. Dude, now. he's what? Like what? Like what? Do you think I he'll like... survive it? Ooh, I didn't think of that. You think he'll, he's he's gonna like Harrison Ford the whole thing? Do you think he wants out? I don't know. I'm sure they're paying him like a hefty amount of money though. They want him out. Who's they? So what you're saying is Disney, the mouse, wants him gone. Wait, why? Because he costs too much. Oh, oh. <laughs> RDJ, like, yeah, that was sad, but at the same time, like, wow, we're saving a lot of money. <laughs> oh, that's that's a good point. I mean, though, because they put that money towards like like um like Spider Man for example. Spider Man's gonna cost like two million. It's Apparently, gonna, that's gonna start, start filming, at the, end filming of the at the end of this year. Yeah. So like, I'm sure they just take that money from RDJ and just put it towards something else that they think is gonna be prominent. Yeah, true. Because the last Spider Man only did amazing. Two almost didn't, two billion. Dollars. Didn't mean to that to sound like that. Two billion dollars. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Do you understand that they made enough money that probably like spanned all of the movies? Like, dude, they one movie. Just, oh my, oh my God. Yeah, I didn't think of that either. So much money. So like, much. there's no way that they're not getting both of them back. Like, they know. Yeah, they, they know it money, pulls in, and they also know that like, like the actors themselves are just like, if I do this, like, but I'm set. Let's say like, hold on, because like, don't you think part of the reason why there was so much hype behind it was because like. The nostalgia of it, like the reason we haven't seen them on screen in so long, mm-hmm. and that's the only reason people like bought it to go see them. It's True. like part of the sales. Well, like I don't know if I want to see him again. I mean, I do kind of want to see him again. I want to get You kind of, <laughs> but this is the thing: you checkmate by bringing in Miles Morales. Ooh, do you think it's gonna be that'll be like in the mix for the? Into the Spider Verse? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Wow, uh, we're really going off topic. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Back to Ant Man, which, like, I mean, if you had to give a rank one through ten for the first two movies, like, for the first go? two movies, the first one I give uh probably like a solid seven. Yeah. Um, I like that it's a Marvel super that like went to prison and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Even though it was for wrong doing. Right. Or, right. Like, but wrongly. it's he's got some backbone to him, you know. And then um, the second one I'm gonna give like. A three, because I don't. I I remember watching it and be like, "Wow, that was." It's yeah. a forgettable movie. Yeah, I remember, like you just said, like Lawrence Fishburne. I remember nothing about that movie. Do you remember the villain Ghost? Nope. That's oh, gone. she could like. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! With the motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I do remember. Okay. okay yeah. Okay, okay. It, 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 it's something that you remember, but like it is a forgettable movie. You Jeez. just don't think of it in the in the line of Marvel movies. Like it's just like, oh right. Like I feel like a lot of people either get it confused. With the same as the first one, or like just one big long movie, because yeah. that's kind of what it is. Is it the first time he gets big in that yeah. movie? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I don't. Does he get I, big in the first one? No, Civil War was the first time he got big. Oh, right. That's the test theory. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So there's that. Um, I don't know. I I think this one's gonna be good. I think Jonathan Majors as a villain. He did very well in Loki. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to do very well in this. Uh, we know he's going to play multiple versions of this character. So, like, he's going to have acting chops out the ass with Which all that. hard. Like, super difficult to do. <clears throat> yeah. That's to be able to go through that and, like, really, like... I don't know. I saw this, like, meme where it was just, like, Scarlet Witch and Jonathan Majors. And they're like, I just want them to fight just because I know it will be a sexy fight. And I was like, you know, yeah. I, I can deal it. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> all probably. right. What, what do you rate the, the movies? Ooh, I rate... I think... Original Ant Man seven point five and completely honest, I never watched the movie until like three years after it came out. Ant Man? Yeah. I thought we didn't see that together? No. When did I see it then? It took me a very long time to watch it. Oh, like and it weird. wasn't because I was like boycotting it. It was more of like I just didn't want to. Yeah. It's like, it kind of like a, one of those heroes. I watched it when they announced Spider Man was in Civil War and they're like, Oh, you need to like 
or Ant Man's in that, so I'm like, oh, maybe I should watch I'll it now. Go back and watch Ant Man, kind of thing. Yeah, because like there was a point with Marvel movies where like I stopped watching them in theaters and I just watched them when they came out, like mm-hmm. on DVD and Blu-ray. So like, oh, yeah, I was yeah. always behind by so uh, many people. I think I bought that's Civil War. For you that you're behind. I got Civil War like on Black Friday. Like there was a point in like. 2015 2016 2017 where like i just did not watch any movies like mm. it wasn't until like avengers was coming back at, like the end game and yeah yeah uh yeah, the catch infinity up. war yeah like i was playing catch up because i was buying it because disney plus wasn't a thing yet yeah 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 so that i was sense. like yeah kind of like catching yeah you yep. gotta go to the movie i thought you were a part of that um that club on that movie theater where you A-list? watch like yeah that thing i didn't start a list until like or is that like recently? uh right before covid oh okay that's why yeah okay anyway um wait so what'd you name what'd you rate the uh i would say 7.5 one? i would say the f- second one would be like a 4.5 4. 5. and it's only mm. because like i know they're trying to do some stuff from the comics and i don't dislike any of the act like any of the performances mm-hmm. i think the plot line was really weak it's i feel pretty, like they could have yeah. done more with it like they should have swapped plot lines for movies think so i think they should have started with like the plot of ant-man and wasp yeah and then go into like yellow jacket and fighting him and stuff but i understand if they have i don't know how far they plan they always claim they plan so far in advance so like i know that with the new trailer that came out we have modok right and i, want, I had questions about the that. guy that that's played- the guy from the the first movie yeah so what's, like maybe they want wanted- um, what was his villain name uh well it was well, yellow he, jacket it was yellow jacket yeah so I like I get like they wanted to give like some time maybe between him coming back through movies instead mm-hmm. of like second to third movie. But still, I just like I don't know, like I I think it looks cool. I think they're going to do I think CGI is not completely done. Oh, okay. I feel like they're going to probably not. They yeah. always do this where they like release something, see what the response is and then like alter mm-hmm. for like certain things. Um so I don't know because right now I am getting very much like George Lopez and Dude, Spy that's, Kids. Yeah, that's I was literally thinking the exact. Same that's thing what I'm getting because it's like this bold, this yeah, face. It, when he has like when he looks more mechanical, he looks like it looks he's cool. Like with the glowing a eyes, yeah, <laughs> like the glowing eyes are the cool. mechanical one is pretty cool. But him with just his face is like, I feel like really his arms really bad. Be bigger, they seem I, so little. See, oh. have you seen the Hulu uh, Modok series with there Patton about. Oswalt as Modok? What? Yeah. Is it like animated? Yeah. I've never seen it. No. Dude, you should watch it. It's like Patton it's like blood. the Harley Quinn series for DC mm-hmm. on HBO Max, okay. where it's like, oh, okay, 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 very like adult. Yeah, same thing. Huh. Modok, but adult. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, but I wish I would use like I would have accepted his face on a Modok more than. I don't know about the fishbowl face, dude. I, don't I just know. get George Lopez vibes, and I remember just looking at that. I hope that's I temporary, like that. and I hope he evolves into like the glowing eyes version, like gets to that point. Yeah, that'd be cool. I hope that's not just like battle mode. <laughs> battle you, mode? You know for a fact. It's just like <laughs> battle <laughs> mode. <laughs> like Tony Stark. Yeah, like essentially. Oh, my God. Well, think about it. The glowing eyes works, it'd right? Fun. It'd be funny. I, I think the movie's going to be a beautiful movie. Spectacular. Mm-hmm. It's like, be real pretty CGI with all the, the quantum colors in it you think it's gonna take like the whole move like majority of the movie you think is gonna take place in this quantum realm because it kind of seems like it is i kind of hope so i i do it seems like we're traveling through like so many different like parallel universes like not even multiverses like yeah like in um in a dr strange they were going like there was a point where they were even like paint remember and it seems like we're gonna kind of go through that spectrum and slowly take that tour of going through like these different universes that exist which i kind of like i'm not opposed to yeah, I mean, I I think like you you come around to because uh, I don't know exactly where they're going with this because they explain like um, with his mom of just like I was in the quantum realm. There's like things I haven't told you. Mm-hmm. He's dangerous. Da 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 da. And then we see the quantum realm and these beings in there. And it's like, is that an alternate universe where these are the same? Like, is that an Ant Man but he just looks completely different? Like, it just seems like there's different beans in you the think we're gonna realm? be seeing different ant-mans i think so with that those scenes were like oh there's like a him. bunch of them yeah yeah yeah, yeah i yeah. think we're gonna get multiple ant-mans but what i i think in this is like it's not gonna be like spider-man where you don't have anyone else to reference or whatever unless they're gonna bring in cameos which i don't think they're going to i think it's just me a bunch of paul rudds paul rudds yeah uh but i like wherever they go with this they gotta acknowledge the alternate timelines and universes 
So it's like, are you, are we going to get any cameos in this movie? Like, that's the thing. Like, will we get some crazy cameos? Because this is what's supposed to start off phase five and like launch us into what will be Kang dynasty down the road. So like, we need to get something, even if it's a post credit scene that like shows a different universe. Like we Mm -hmm. get that Fox universe with the X-Men or we get like across the spider verse, which may be why they delayed that movie Uh, to come out a little later. Cause like we might get that animated universe. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Easter egg at some point, you know, like Ant-Man would be the best way to introduce that. That would be really good. Because he's as close right now until Deadpool comes in to Deadpool in like the comedy and like something as silly as that, Mm -hmm. but also as meaningful would only be right you wouldn't see that in a hulk movie or like an no. iron man movie in an ant-man movie you probably probably would. yeah that makes sense you like know? it kind of fits the vibe yeah or some kind of like where that you had the symbiote like this uh the venom from ed hardy yeah yeah, oh, ed hardy. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh from eddie brock uh yeah, yeah. tom hardy i get oh that. yeah <laughs> yeah I forgot I said his name. I didn't even notice either. Ed, I was like, oh, Ed, yeah, Hardy Ed Hardy is the fish. <laughs> the, the 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 marine life, the Ed Hardy shirts. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh so I, I I think like we're gonna get something like that where like we saw it like crawl off, so maybe we'll get like a post credit scene where like something will be like ignited or awakened or awoken, awakened. Awokened? Woke? Are you woke? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know what I mean? Like something like that where like we will get that little like, oh, I can't wait for the next thing. Or mm-hmm. when is that going to like the uh, come back around? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, like, is there something you want to see? February 17th, right? Yeah. Like, OK, that's if mean. you could pick one, let, let's say they go into a universe or they pull someone mm-hmm. from something that's not part of the I MCU. I think I know what you're going to ask me. Who do you want to see? As a cameo? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to ask me who, who would I want to play Venom? No, no. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not even saying Venom. I'm just saying like in that, general who... how that ended up with the post credit scene to that. Yeah. Oh, that's so hard. Because remember in the first Ant Man, the only cameo was Falcon. Yeah. Now Falcon's like a bigger yeah. deal. Yeah. Ooh. And well, so was Ant Man because yeah. he saved the planet and all that. You know, save the planet. No, he yeah. didn't. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you have somebody in mind? Uh, I don't know. I, mm, I, mm, right? It's a hard question. <laughs> I know he's coming back. Ben Affleck's coming back apparently as a different character altogether into the MCU, but I want Daredevil Ben Affleck. Like, I want it. Or John Travolta villain, even though he's dead already. John but, like, Travolta? Yeah, as that villain from uh, Punisher. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. man. Right? No, Thomas Jane Punisher. Let's That'd go with that. Cool. That'd be dope. But we're probably going to get John Bernthal, which I'm still okay with. I, I, I like him, too. Yeah. I mean, Charlie Cox is a good daredevil. I don't think Ben would even take that away from him. You don't want to see Ben in, like, a new light? I No, I know he's going to, but, like, even if it's just that, like, quick one shot, because that's still part of the Fox universe, just, yeah. like... Here's your shot of Ben Affleck as Daredevil. You'll never see him again. Next time we go to the Fox universe, we'll show X Men. But like, you That'd know, be crazy. he's part of it. Oh man, that's a good one. Honestly, like I even saw this thing where like, uh, I know I've had this theory of like, oh, like if we, because we have all these like incursions happening, so we gotta mm-hmm. kill the Fox universe somehow, right? So either it's gonna happen in an incursion, maybe at the end of this movie, we actually see the Fox m- multiverse like coming, like. I don't know if it's colliding per se when they do these incur. Yeah. But like maybe we'll see that universe being like what's about to happen. And then like, boom. Mm -hmm. And then we come back to that later. But there's also another thing where people think that dared or uh, not Daredevil, Deadpool and the Wolverine movie is we'll get an adaptation of when uh, Deadpool killed the Marvel universe, but said the Deadpool killed the Fox universe. Oh, that would make sense. And he's doing that with the time going back and killing all of them. He would have to kill like Nick Cage. As Ghost Rider, right? No, no, no. No? Uh, I mean, he could, but I think like more like the X-Men. Like He would just uh, kill just go around the, the all X-Men. of And then we get all our cameos, but then we never have to recast them again. Oh, dude. I remember Ice. Pay James awesome. Marsden 20 bucks to show up for like quick five seconds <laughs> as Cyclops. I mean, Professor X has showed up, and he's massacred. It's very true, yeah. <laughs> so, and he that maybe we'll find out that that Professor X was from a... Uh, universe where like maybe that that universe eight three eight yeah is the Fox universe. Dude, it, I don't even think about the cameos either. There's gonna be so many. I feel like they did so many I didn't expect in Doctor Strange. Yeah, insane. and what? Why would they stop now? Right, 
People like, loved it. Yeah. People clapped. Yeah, we don't know what we're going to get. Awesome. And we got cameos people never even saw. We just wanted, like, John Krasinski as Mr. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think this movie's going to be, to start a new phase, they got to do something big. They have to. Whether it's kill Ant-Man, kill Michael Douglas, kill so something. Is this, but like, so, is Wakanda Forever a part of this phase, or is that the no. end of the last phase? Uh, technically, Guardians of the Galaxy hol- holiday special the holiday is the special. end of phase four. Okay. Black Panther, in theory, takes place before that. Timeline wide takes place. Okay, before holiday special. Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the one I think I haven't seen yet. Yeah. I'm waiting for February 1st. Yeah. So when you see that, we'll, we'll come we'll back and talk really about Phase about 4 yeah, yeah, yeah. before Phase 5 starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, other than that, um, I guess based on this, let's go. Let's rate the trailer just for just for fun. Okay, the trailer. Where do you go? On a scale of 1 to 5. 1 to 5. I like 1 to 5. Okay. And that means like how excited you are. Do you think they show too much? Like Factor those in. Okay, so I'm going to go with a 3 Okay. because... I think they did show too much. I'm hoping it's like a huge misdirect Mm -hmm. because clearly it's Kang using like Scott's daughter with the years that he's lost. And that's like his leeway to have Scott do all this stuff. And I'm hoping there's like a lot more to that. Mm -hmm. But if, if I'm correct on that, then it's going to stay a three. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll, I would bump up that score. Gotcha. Cause that was like, that would be a solid misdirect. Okay. I'm going to go with a four because I'm going to go a little bit on the opposite end because I feel like Marvel is very well versed in Mr. X because look at uh, Infinity War when they did Hulk running with everyone Mm -hmm. in that and then he was never there because he had the Hulkbuster out. Oh, yeah, yeah. They edited him into all those trailers just to get people to not know what was going on with the plot. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised like they edit this to seem like, oh, he's going to kill Ant-Man. No way. I don't think so. But then again, there's a twist of like, oh, you thought we didn't show it, but nah, he is going to kill him. Like, there's so many things they could do there. I definitely think what we've seen is edited differently than what we're going to see. I'm hoping so. In the movie. And I feel like the life, like the life forms we see on the quantum realm, that's mm-hmm. what's going to change. I think we might get more cameos than we think. Mm-hmm. And I think they're just screwing with us on that end. I haven't shown so. a lot about the civilization in the realm, just right. hang them and like, it's just like, yeah, there. it's just like back and forth. Yeah, it kind of seems more like wildlife than it does with and like, like his actual, daughter like going to jail. Because like stuff, if he's there, there's got to be other humans around. I hope so. Right? <laughs> in a in a theory, like he wouldn't be in charge of other weird beings. Like you would think he'd want with all of the other interactions he's had with Loki and everything right. else. Like he's more interested in human life than he is in other life. Unless we find out again, those other lives are like so a version of since you mentioned loki does this take place way after he met loki right we don't know because loki doesn't really exist on a timeline. And on like a timeline right yeah because it, it's 2012 loki that's messed yeah. all this up right yeah, we don't know where he is in time so that's he could so, show up in it so it's not a guarantee point. that that's the same king that loki talked to versus the one Amazon well we know it's not the same person there, okay there's multiple versions of him that's so the crazy. one that we saw in loki was who what he called himself he who remains yeah then there's Kang, then there's the Pharaoh version of him, then there's Nathaniel oh. Richards, and there's Iron Lad. There's a bunch of different versions oh, of Oh, they guy. all have different names. Yeah, essentially. Whoa, my mind's blown. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. God but damn. other than that, uh, yeah, we will see on February 17th where we're at. We'll probably come back to this after Black Panther comes on Disney+, Plus, and then we'll, yeah, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll touch on it. Yeah, we'll talk on that. All right. Uh, where can they find you, Oliver? You can find me everywhere on every social platform at the Sphere 21 either Twitter, Instagram, or Twitch. And you could find me at A. Amore Photography and or Archangel Films for our company and Nerd Locker Podcast for this exact podcast. And then we will have a question and answer on the bottom. Let us know, what do you guys think of the Ant-Man trailer? Are you excited for it? Or are you just not really uh, all for it? You've probably given up on Marvel altogether. A lot of people have done that. It's There's been a so long much. time. There's Whether so you much. like it or not, you, you get exhausted. Oh, my God. So maybe I since I took the, that three-year break, that's why I don't. Maybe I'm still on it. Yeah. Give me another couple of years. I'll be done. All right. We will see Bye. you guys next time. Bye.